literally everything. Uh, Robert had a curvature of the chest and, and the spine. And the doctors told us that it was even very difficult for them to put the ventilator on him. We're unstoppable, incredible, cause we're differently abled, differently. Father's house to the land I will show you. Give me the strength to do what I must. Abraham, do not harm your child. For now I know that you fear God, seeing that you've not withheld your son. Nissan Serena ndio hii na unaweza kuwa wewe ndio tunapikia simu kodi ya Nissan Serena ni NS alafu kisha kwenye amount ni 50 bob hii Nissan Serena tunakuatia na shilingi 50 kujiunga na Quickbit ni rahisi enda kwenye Mpesa bonyeza Paybill kisha weka business number 403253 kwenye account weka kodi bidhaa unayotaka na bidii yako ya chini zaidi kwa mfano TV16 kisha weka shilingi 20 tu kama idadi yako weka bidii yako pia kwenye www.quickbit.co.ke kumbuka bidii ya chini zaidi ya kipekee ndio ununua Quickbit za bora kwa bei ya chini. I heard him say you're supposed to be here. Yes. So I went home. Mm -hmm. I sold everything and four months later I came back. I got stolen yes. by a woman. Yes. I was five years. Mm -hmm. I had to go and take care of a child. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether even that, that child was one year. Yes. I was taking care of that child yes. while the woman is going mm -hmm. for a job. So you were kidnapped. It wasn't a matter of wanting. Yes. For about three years I had been asking God, mm -hmm. what do you want me to do with the rest of my life? Yes. Sixty. Yes. She put the head on my lap. Yeah. And told me. Mm -hmm. God will be always taking care of you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. For many years you watched me in front of your screens as I brought you business. This is where it all began. As the mother of broadcasting in Kenya, you can trust KBC to bring you authentic news and programs to your living room. Action. As KBC, we take pride in our unrivaled heritage as Kenya's trusted national broadcaster. Commanding over 92% digital television signal coverage of our country, 23 radio services that cut across our entire language spectrum, a national, regional and international digital presence backed by the most experienced and top-notch broadcast professionals in the industry. A very good evening to you. The New Look Kenya Broadcasting Corporation is truly ahead of the pack. Turn to the mother of broadcasting in Kenya for stories that resonate with our identity, our aspirations as a people united in purpose. Real stories of hard work, of passion, of creativity, of big dreams. Stories that cement our nationhood. Stories that bring us together as one. Hey, hey! We take pride in our shared heritage and destiny. KBC. Informing, educating and entertaining Kenyans as one nation. KBC. Kenya's listening. Kenya's watching.
the 25th day of july 2021 it is good afternoon and welcome to kbc lunchtime news hope you're having a blessed sunday afternoon it's time for the news and by the way today is the third day in the 2020 olympic games in tokyo japan and today in about 30 minutes or so our volleyball queens will be taking on japan in their first match and of course we will be bringing you and keeping you up to date with the latest happening in the team kenya again i say go go team kenya it's time for the news my name is bentro enjoy and byron abuli will be a sign language interpreter for this afternoon welcome kindly give me company remember we are live on all our social media platform and i can see millicent adisa you are watching from kangemi already you say you're tuned in to KBC Lunchtime News. And straight to the news, 150 tourists have arrived at the Moi International Airport, Mombasa, aboard a commercial flight operated by Euro Wings Discover, the new leisure airline within the Lufthansa Group and the first ever to land in the coastal city. The flight will operate twice weekly, a much needed boost to Kenya's tourism recovery efforts after about two years of low business occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Airbus A330 Lufthansa aircraft with 150 tourists from Germany touched down at the Moi International Airport Mombasa on Sunday morning. A high-level delegation from the national government led by Tourism Principal Secretary Safina Kwekwe and tourism stakeholders was at hand to welcome the visitors in the traditional Kenyan way. Kenya Tourism Board Company Secretary Alan Njoroge says the commencement of the flights by the carrier signals growing confidence in the country's tourist destinations. Last year, Germany was number six in terms of bringing us inbound traffic. And we believe now with the Euro we've discovered, uh, Germany will climb the ladder and hopefully be amongst the top three because uh, this for us is an endeavor and an undertaking that we want to make everybody stay here in Kenya. We hope to see uh, the airline prosper uh, because this destination is ready to receive you. We are COVID uh, prepared and uh, your visitors will definitely enjoy uh, their stay here in Kenya. German Ambassador to Kenya, Annette Gunter, described the launch of bi-weekly flights by the new airline as testimony of excellent bilateral relations that exist between Kenya and Germany. It's not only about tourism, it's also about uh, economic relations, you know. Uh, German companies, they come to Kenya, they come to stay. And I think this is also not a one-dayer, you know. It does do us a real great uh, favor in terms of uh, promoting our, our business, international business, and also promoting uh, tourism, not just in Kenya, but also in the region. The airline which operates out of Frankfurt is the only one serving Kenya's Mombasa Moi International Airport with direct flights from European markets and is expected to enhance leisure and business holidaying. Irene Mchuma Udim, The Lunch Team News. The Mavoko Environment and Land Court has suspended construction of Safaricom staff pension project and roadworks in Athi River until a case filed by Mavoko Water and Sewerage Company is heard by both parties on 27th of this month. Mavasco had filed a petition against Safaricom Pension Transees Project and Pristine Constructors Limited on allegations that the ongoing construction of the project would interfere with sewerage system and affect hundreds of residents in Athi River. And still on project, residents of Hulugo sub-county in Garissa County will in the next two weeks enjoy electricity connectivity thanks to efforts by the Ministry of Energy. Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter, who officially commissioned the 275 kilovolts power supply and connectivity project, said the government will supply electricity to all the residents in the area. 
Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Ketel says the government has set aside 1.2 billion shillings for supplying solar and diesel energy to power boreholes and all schools in Garissa County. Tuko na billioni moja miambili. Inye itanza I think in the next two weeks. Ya Garissa tu wapa hivi. Inye itanza in the next two weeks. Ile stima tutalete kwa borehole, kwa primary school, ina, inafanya na solar na wind, hybrid na diesel. So hiyo ni 1.2 the whole project ni 15 billion. Keter added that power connectivity in the area will boost security through street lighting. Tumepatia watu karibu 80% wa Kenya wote waliko wa tumepatia stima. Ile 20 mebaki, nyo hiyo pesa umesikia nimesema 15 billion, 1.2 inakuja hapa, tutakuja tusambaze stima, ili paka watu wafraie. Na tunajua stima ikisambaswa ata amani itaingia. Ijara Member of Parliament Sophia Abdinur expressed optimism that businesses will flourish because of consistent power supply. He light itasaidia ku open up hapa. Wamama kwa, kwa maduka zao, kwa fridge zao, hata la saizi muliona, kwa fridge ya mama tulipata maji baridi. Tutapata maziwa ambayo ilikuwa naharibika huko awali, laki sasa haitaweso kwa haribika. It is the first time Hulugo sub-county is getting electricity connectivity which is aimed at boosting livelihoods, businesses and improving infrastructure in the region. Moving on, over 500 shareholders of Eden Park and Country Gardens have received title deeds for their pieces of land located in Nanyuki after over 10 years of waiting. Speaking during the ceremony, the director of Eden Park and Country Garden, Joseph Njoroge, faulted the county government of Laikipia on the delay and high charges of rates per plot. Njoroge further said that the transfer of staff from the land registry affected the process with most of their documents missing. nimeshika title deed ambao ni wale wamelipa na wale hawajalipa kwa hivyo wote kijumu na watapewa title deed zao kuna kitu kama hiyo mimi najua cloud niko na title biri ya plot na title ya chamba e kamonja i would call upon people those who do not have a place to call a home i would call upon them to come and face it the offices of eden park tumetoa title zote kwa ujumla Mwenye ajamaliza na mwenye amemaliza tumetoa title zote zikiwa zote ni kama 1300 na tuko nazo ziko kwa ofisi wakuje wakague title zao wafanye search waone ziko genuine na mtu ambaye ana balance ya kampuni ya Eden Park Let's shift focus to political matters now where Waipa Democratic Movement leader Kalonzo Musioka has stated that he will go head to head with Deputy President William Ruto in the year 2022 general polls. Kalonzo alluded to confidence that he will win the presidency, dismissed the bottom-up economic approach as handouts economics meant to entice the masses for votes. The former vice president told his political opponents to be ready for a tough contest as winning the 2022 presidential election will be his priority. This community has been under trial, sometimes victimized, marginalized, taken for granted, as if we don't care. I want you to know we are equal under God. He has further refuted claims that he held a meeting with Raila Odinga to stop the Wiper party from quitting the NASA coalition. Everybody, myself, Aisha Kuruto, have given them their mandate to talk on their behalf about a simple issue. The sharing of the political party's funds. This as Kitui Senator Eno Kwamboa revealed that Waipa Party's top organ NEC will be meeting on Monday to approve the party's withdrawal from the NASA coalition. West Pokot Governor Professor John Lunyangapuo has appealed to the political class in the country to stop spreading rumors of an alleged plot to postpone 2022 general election without clear reasons. <laughs> So to see the IBC, not to scare rumors, the propaganda, and to come with a work really, whatever they say, let it come. Different African countries must apply their domestic law, therefore, it is not binding. 
and therefore our constitution is a supreme law let's not beat about the bush Meanwhile, a section of Busia leaders have laid out their expectations over the planned tour of Western Region by President Uhuru Kenyatta, saying that they expect the head of state to revive the economy of the region. Waletewa kulima hapa Teso North, Mbegu, pamoja na dawa kunyunzia pamba, na pia waweza kutufufulia viwanda vya kutengeneza pamba, yani generis. Wezi kuangalia mambo ya hii barabara, ukiangalia kwa upana barabara ya B1 kutoka kisumu mpaka Busia imechelewa sana kufanyiwa dual carriageway tunaomba viongozi wetu na tunaomba rais aliangalie sana kwa makini Suleiman Yeri Lunchtime News At about 11 minutes past the hour that report by Suleiman Yeri takes us to our first break but let me appreciate Emon Kiprono watching live from Kapsiwa in Nandi County and also Nicodemus Yata watching live from Mombasa Magongo. We'll be right back with more news including the latest from Tokyo, Japan. Nissan Serena ndio hii na unaweza kuwa wewe ndio tunapikia simu kodi ya Nissan Serena ni NS alafu kisha kwenye amount ni 50 bob hii Nissan Serena tunakuatia na shilingi 50 kujiunga na Quickbit ni rahisi enda kwenye Mpesa bonyeza paybill kisha weka business number 4032353 kwenye account weka kodi ya bidhaa unayotaka na bidii yako ya chini zaidi kwa mfano TV16 kisha weka shilingi 22 kama idadi yako weka bidii yako pia kwenye www.quickbit.co.ke kumbuka bidii ya chini zaidi ya kipekee ndio ununua Quickbit Bida Bora kwa Beya Chini. Silly girl, listen to me. You have to take the birthing charm with you. Just look at your knee. He's tall and strong because of it. She was your responsibility. I asked you to take good care of her while I was gone. You just let her go? How did you run away? I had to go out, or I'm gonna go crazy. Right. He asked me to tell you, when you're bored, you can play with them, just to kill time. Thank you so much, and pass my gratitude to the crown prince. Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome back and thanks for keeping it KBC. Elsewhere, mental health experts in Juja, Kiambu County, are raising concerns over increasing cases of drug abuse among youths in the area. Are the professionals who are linking mental health related illnesses which are on the rise in the region to abuse of drugs, warning that if nothing is done, the country could suffer a great loss. They want the government to implement laws and force declaring some of their addictive drugs illegal. According to a mental health survey, over 30% of youths in universities and colleges in the country are abusing drugs. Vijana ambao natumia hizi dawa na pombe ni wale ambao wako shule kwa huu muda na wale ambao wanaendelea na shule. E, kusema wale ambao wako shule hata kutoka upande wa high school e, wakikuja kumalizia na pia sana sana wale ambao wako college na universities ambazo zimetuzunguka hapa. Ugonjwa huu unaadhiri jamii ikiwa mzima, si ugonjwa wa mtu mmoja kibinafsi 
na ndio ndiposa tukasema kwa sasa lazima tujiite sisi kama viongozi wa kesho sisi kama watu wa youth ndiposa tumekuja hapa leo kujadili wa, m, haya maneno ya vile jinsi ambavyo utasaidia watu youth yetu wa kujuja jinsi ambavyo tutawapa mwelekezo jinsi ambavyo tutawaambia tuta, wajistahimili na kujimiliki na miliki desturi yao A section of residents in Taita Taveta County are counting losses after their property was destroyed by officers claimed to be from the county government. The Irid locals accused the officers of invading into their privacy without legal documentation and past curfew hours. They want the county government to move with speed and compensate them as well as justify the action. The state of affairs in one of the homes in a village in Taita Taveta County. This fence protecting a plot housing tens of residents here was brought down allegedly by officials from the county government. Hakuna karatasi sina. Amekuja. Kwanza huyu Jefferson. Akaja juzi akatoa stop order. Alipotoa stop order tumekaa na hiyo stop order tunangojea kidogo ndio huyo akaja i say nipeteni hiyo stop order nisameheni sana bwana e, ni, 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 ni vibaya na watu hebu nirudishieni hata msipeleke mahali akaipeleka the affected homeowners say they are yet to be informed the motive behind destruction of their property hawa wa, kuji na mavazi wanakuja na manguo meusi na watu ambao si wafanyakazi wao ni watu wa county government sababu ya lile gari lililo kuja hapa lile lililo tumika kuvunja vunja hili ni lile la la la, la, kuzo, la, kuzo, la kubeba matakataka Area human rights activists are now demanding disciplinary action against those who took part in the demolition Hapa mali tumekaa geti iko like five steps kutoka kwa geti ya DCC na uhalifu huwezi fanyika saa tano usiku wasisikie walisikia and they didn't take action kwa sababu wali, walikuwa wa collaborate purity museo lunch time news Moving on, Equity Bank has set aside 1.4 billion shillings extended provision of personal protective equipment to referral and county hospitals countrywide for another one and a half years in order to protect medical staff. This is according to Equity Bank Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer Dr. James Mwangi, who delivered PPE's donations to hospitals in Samburu County. Equity Bank Managing Director and CEO Dr. James Mwangi donated PPEs to Samburu County Referral Hospital in Maralal Town and Wamba Catholic Mission Hospital in Samburu East to protect health workers against COVID-19. That the burden can be shared between those two hospitals and people from the very interior don't to tra have to travel and be referred to this hospital. Samburu County Governor Moses Lenol Kulal thanked the financial institution for the support saying it will supplement efforts by the county government to mitigate against effects of the pandemic. The fatality rate in Samburu is quite low, COVID related and probably also depends because probably God is also merciful to us that we can't suffer several pandemics. We are suffering from insecurity as we speak today. Meanwhile, Equity Bank has issued scholarships to 160 students from underprivileged backgrounds in Kisi County who are scheduled to join Form 1 next week amid overwhelming applications for the ARI. Clarified a total of 138 applicants qualified for the Elimu scholarship program while 22 others were bailed out under wings to fly provision. We just want to give a commitment that we will support these children uh, both financially and uh, in terms of mentorship so that they can achieve the best that is set for them. Masin Joki, Hulanch Time News. Hun hundreds of street families and other vulnerable families in Kitale have, have a reason to smile after they received livelihood support from well-wishers. The families congregated at the railway grounds in Kitale town under strict COVID-19 protocols to receive clothes and beddings from Hope and Revival Children program. These families in Kitale town were treated to generous meals by well-wishers under Hope and Revival Children program, HRCP organization. 
The families also received clothes and beddings to help them stay warm during cold weather. Kama wamo kutusaidia, tusaidia tuwa tukachagula veke yake, watusaidia kwa vitu zingine enye hiko mbele. Ningependa, mtafutua hata kama ka sponsor, nirudi shule nisome, nikuwa mkubu hata minenda kwa na kwa na wakumbuka ni wasaidie. Ashley Kimisi, who is among the well-wishers, said their long-term plan is to empower the street families to have better lives. The old and the needy, we build them houses. If the houses are so in bad condition, we build them. Then we give them blankets and also we do food program for them. This comes as stakeholders call for a coordinated rehabilitation program to help the street children. As at now, we are building a structure as to why we will be helping them in terms of technical trainings. Um, maybe it's, uh, it might be yet complete um, uh, in the coming few months. Then uh, we'll absorb uh, most of them in terms of carpentry, electrical engineering. Kitale Town has witnessed an increased number of street families with the government calling on parents to take up the roles and not abandon their children who end up living on the streets. Records at Transuia County Children's Department indicate a 40% increase of street children since the start of COVID-19 pandemic. Ben Chumba, Lunchtime News. Elsewhere, dairy farmers in Gidunguri, Kiambu County, say the yard is satisfied with proceeds from the industry despite high production and intense marketing of milk products. Speaking during their annual elections of Gidunguri Dairy Farmers Cooperative Society board members, the farmers lamented that officials elected in the past have done a little to make the industry profitable. They called on the government to help the cooperative society construct an animal food processing plant in the area that will stabilize prices of products. We are facing challenges. Cost of production is one of the mighty challenges we are facing as farmers. We find that the cost of the fields we are feeding our cows, they are just over the roof. But the price of the milk remains constant. Serikali tafadhali kama wanaweza kutusaidia vile tunaweza pata kiwanda ya kusiaga chakula. Dio production ya maziwa yetu iwe mingi juu watu wanateseka. Chakula bei iko juu sana. Serikali itusaidie tu. Tafadhali tumeomba wakulima wa Kitongoli. In sports, Kenya registered yet another disappointing result today at the ongoing Tokyo Olympic Games after boxer Christine Ongare was eliminated in the competition. Ongare was beaten by Irish Magno of the, Philipp the Philippines rather, in the round of 32 of the women's flyweight division at the Kokugikan Arena in Japan. Pakistan scored a unanimous decision win against Ongari, with four of the five judges. The captain, Nico Koth, bowed out of the championship earlier. Jamaa. Coming her mental health, the second seed broke the 52nd round zinc for a 2 1 lead in the second set and closed out an 87 minute victory on her third match point. Osaka is now the clear favorite for gold after Bati, the reigning Wimbledon champion, dropped serve twice in each set and made 55 and forced errors in a 6 4 6 3 loss to Spain's 48th ranked Sarasobis Tonno. 
elsewhere, defending champion Animari withdrew from the men's singles tournament due to a quad muscle strain just hours before he was scheduled to play Felix Oga Alassim. The 34 year old Mari will stay in Japan to play doubles with Joe Salisbury. The pair won their opening match of the competition on Saturday. They say a bad start makes for a good ending, so there's hope for Team Kenya. Remember, our Malkia strikers of volleyball team will be hosting, actually, uh, will be playing Japan in the next two or three minutes or so. And keep it KBC for the latest news. Remember, www.kbc.co.ke plus also a social media platform. Thank you so much for keeping me company, uh, including, I see, uh, just a minute, I see, unfortunately, uh, a technical hitch there. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Ben Troinjue and Byron Abuli has been our sign language interpreter for this afternoon. College. Vera Beauty and Fashion College with branches in Nairobi, Eldoret, Fika and Meru. Did you know that we are a TVET approved institution? We offer courses in fashion design, interior design in soft furnishing, event decoration, flower arrangement, event planning, hairdressing, barbering and dreadlocks, beauty therapy, makeup, nail technology, spa massages, teaching skills, TOT, solo business management, and many more. Register now and visit our website on www.verabeautycollege.com. You can also call on 0725-923-550 Nairobi Branch, 0728-087-689 Eldoret Branch, 0722-227428 Thicker Branch, 0725 0725-